Welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at the um, ET200SP card that brings back heart and 4 to 20. But to, to really understand the, the difference bet between the, the two technologies, um, we've got to understand 4 to 20 first. So that's what we're going to have a go at in this video is scaling the 4 to 20. So you can see my project in, in front of me um, and I am wired to the second input and this is my LR110 radar. So I'm going to save this value for now um, but before we start looking at scaling it we really got to understand how these cards work. So this is our real life application you can see here we have an empty distance of 2.5 meters and this is the first common mistake that people make. This is not necessarily the um, value that we're going to be scaling in our, in our PLC. This is the value that the radar needs to give it an accurate distance reading or level reading. Um, the actual value that the PLC use is this span and sometimes uh, when you've got an error in readings is that's because the PLC programmer has put in the physical empty distance and not the program span. So you can see here on our application that the empty distance is 2.5 meters and we have a 500 mil top level. So that means our 4 to 20 scaling is 0 to 2 meters. So once we have our milliamp wired into the PLC, um, there's a magic value that you need to, to remember. It's it, And this doesn't change regardless of the accuracy of the card. So you, you might have an 8-bit, a 16-bit, whatever. Um, but your, your zero value, which is the raw digital value on the PLC card, is always going to be zero, whether that's a 4 milliamp input or a 0 milliamp input. But the maximum value is going to be 27,648, I think. Um, and you can see here, if I move my radar up and down, you, you can see that value moving. So the first thing we need to do is normalize that value. So luckily, within CIA portal, there's a normx block and we're going to have a look at that now. Um, the output of that is going to be a real double word scaled 0, 0.0 to 1.0 so more or less percent. So we'll have a look at that block now. So I've created a block called milliamp scaling and within there I have a milliamp raw which is an integer that's going to be linked to my, my input on the ET200SP card and then the output from my normx function is going to be um, milliamp in percent real. I've, I've got that as an input output because I need to, to link that to my scale x block later on. So we we'll put this normx block in and then um, the, the scaling is 0 to 2 seven six four eight and then because we're creating an fb function block of our milliamp input raw here and then the output in percent is going to be there and I, I just need to put that into my ob1 which i've already done and you can see here is my my block and i've linked it to my input word six which is coming from my uh, ET200SP card. So I'm going to download that. And then if I go back to my milliamp input scaling, I can monitor it and I'll see my value there uh, as 0, 0.0. And if I move my radar, I can see my value now going up and up and down there on the right hand side. So that's my normalized value. 
So we've normalized our uh, milliamp input for a real value 0, 0.0 to 1.0. Um, now we need to scale it into something meaningful. And luckily we have the scale X block. So we, at this point, we do need to know what our 4 to 20 is scaled to on our radar device. And in this case, it's 0 to 2 meters. So we're back um, in our uh, milliamp scaling FB and we're going to use the scale X function and the input from the scale X function is our normalized value and the scaling that we want on the output of this is empty distance is zero and our 20 milliamp set point is two meters and then we need an output well let's program our output up here and this will be milliamp level scale now i'm not going to put meters because at this stage in the plc code there are no units you add the text for the units in um, your uh, hmi screens or your scada and don't forget this is the real so here we go and if we download that so if I move my transducer up and down now I can see that my level value has now been scaled so what I'm going to show you next is how we can miss all of this out and if we're not after a, a fast reacting application how we can just read the heart value straight back from the device which is more accurate than a scaled milliamp input value because of the resolution of the analog to digital conversion on the PLC card. If we have a look at our card back in the hardware screen and I go to the input card at the bottom you'll see your heart variables over the right hand side you've got your start address because it's reading heart it's a real um, double word and from here you have a table so these are your channels physically on the card um, where you're wired to so I'm wired to channel one and the this particular device I want to read the raw level value I don't want to read a percentage because I'd have to scale it again within PLC so I want to read the raw value so I'm going to program that on the device to output that as a um, the filling level so that's already set what you'd have to do then is to um, compile the hardware and download it because you've made a hardware change and I have then added those values uh, into my uh, tag table so in here you can see the double word and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those into a watch table so you can see all of the values working at the same time so um, uh, my unit is programmed in mil not that it makes any difference so you'll you'll see the the values changing and of course this is where I said that heart is a little bit slower but if it's a simple level application you can see here I'm moving the transducer up and down and, and it's moving relatively uh, fast so if you've got a, an application where the level um, is moving you know say a uh, uh, 10 centimeters in a minute this will more than easily cope with that so there you have it scaling of your milliamp amp input and your heart value coming from a uh, Citrans LR100 radar thanks for listening hope you enjoyed it and please tune into future videos